Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Carpathian countryside. As you can see there's a bunch of ch whoa, there's a bunch of changes that's happening. And that pallet just fell out of the sky. I don't know if you've seen that, but that pallet just fell out of the sky. So I need to re-put that back over here where it belongs. Hello Woodley, how you doing? Hey. Welcome back. What do we got planned for on the farm this morning? We're going to take and uh, I'm trying to put this pallet back up here because it fell out of the sky. And then we're going to take and we're going to go to plant some seeds. First things first, I want you to see what you missed out on. Obviously, I'm, I, I, somehow I spawned inside the building. But obviously, or I, just, I don't know if you've seen that we have horses now. I did get some horses that were delivered this morning for us. I don't know if you had a chance to look at them really quick. But we got a total of eight horses in here. And uh, I think that that's an exciting improvement. I rode them all and I got them all cleaned up this morning. So they all should be pretty healthy and good. You know, it said 0% health, but that's because they just got here about two hours ago. So I got them a little bit of oats to start out with. We'll have to figure out how to get some more oats and get some hay in here for them because they, they take hay also. I don't have any hay in there, so. But, um, and then also, I did end up getting uh, 120 chickens and one rooster two we have a new chicken barn over in the back corner i don't know if you remember me talking about wanting to do that or not and then i got you yep. a nice cedar here so what we need to do is i'm gonna get these uh seeds strapped down and then we're gonna take and go head out to the field to get the seeds planted but we both and you can take and make sure your cedar's full. I don't remember if I filled your cedar up or not. Nope. Well, if you um, pull, back it up over here to the to the trailer a little bit, so we can get some seed in it. And hang on a second. Let me get back up in here in the trailer. All right. Let's let's top off your fertilizer. Fertilizer full? Yep. Okay, I'll back up a yep. little more over here and we'll take and fill up your seed. Man, that's a lot of seed that, that it took to fill that up. But it's we're going to take and we'll, just, we'll go out and uh, do uh, a, a few until we actually need to refill. And then we'll come, uh, one of us will come back and get the truck. Okay. Okay. But yep. we're then we're then plant barley. So make sure you're you're uh, set to uh, plant barley. So did you have a good uh, morning? I see. I know you're busy this morning and wasn't able to show up until about noon today. Yeah, I had me some biscuits and gravy and just enjoyed the morning. Ready to oh. get back at it. Now with the, this, all you gotta do is lower it and it'll automatically turn on. Okay. But you had biscuits and gravy, huh? Yep. That sounds amazing. And it should be doing all what it needs to do and putting some fertilizer and uh, wheat in the field. So, off to a good start here. Finally starting to put our own crops in the fields. Or no more selling our own stuff to get new stuff. <laughs> Unless we want to in the future. But yeah, I had a uh, contractor that came in and he told me that he could tear down a few of my uh, buildings I didn't want. And then um, he would then pay me a decent penny for them. And I asked if there was a way that he would be able to put a chicken barn in. And basically it was a pretty even swap, 120 chickens the, with the chicken barn. And then um, he took all my other buildings. So that's pretty nice. 
I, I pretty much broke pretty even. I think I maybe got an b- extra thousand dollars in my pocket, and then I took the extra thousand and I bought the horses, and I and then I had to go to the store and I bought some seed and uh, the manitou and forklift and then some oats for the cow uh, horses, and I uh, was trying to investigate how much it would cost to start the cows up and. Yeah, we, we're not ready for that yet. Not yet? No. Cows will be a little while, but at least we got horses that we can ride now and uh, right. make, it, make it look cool and awesome from that main entrance. And then, um, obviously, we got chickens that will be start giving us eggs here soon. And when yep. we what I like about the chickens, they actually give us manure on this map with that nice. with that uh, particular um, farm because we, we can give them straw for bedding and stuff. So cool. We get to plant together for the first time. Yep. After knowing you for, gosh, I don't even know how many years now, we never actually got to plant anything together. Right. Glad I'm able to help you on the farm now. Yeah, and that's you're awesome. You're me a pretty good wage for this. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it all works out. And it's like I don't. I just like I, you got your own schedule. I don't make you show up at any time, leave at any time, nothing. Yep. Just be here when you can. And that tractor, I literally bought for you. So if you need to use it at your personal home or anything like that, you can. More than happy to happily take it because it's yours. Awesome. Never know. Maybe in the future you want to take and try to start your own little farm somewhere here in town. It's true. And I can help you get started with a little budget and all that stuff if things work out. Might be a year or so down the road, but yeah, it's something I'm looking forward to. When that time comes, like I said, you'll have that tractor and cedar and stuff like that, and then we'll continue to grow together, help each other out. Right now, you're just helping me get back on my feet, and then eventually, once things are feeling good for us, we can have it where you start your own little uh, farm on, in, a, in another area, and I help you slash you help me teamwork. Oh, that was almost where you didn't have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can hear you really good right now. What's that? So I was testing out the brakes there. Yeah. I can actually hear you really good right now. So I'm glad we got our walkies fixed. Yeah. Me too. Maybe you just need a new tractor because that last tractor you were in, that was hard to hear you. Right. Which I see I the store is already. I think there's an older tractor, and that's what the issue was. Yeah, we'll see. I know that uh, that older tractor is already up for sale at the store. They want thirty six thousand one hundred and three dollars for it now. I don't think it's worth that. Do you? Nope not not when uh, they only gave me about eighteen thousand dollars back for it. But apparently they claim that they fixed it up some, so I don't know. I know I don't have no intention of getting it back. Yeah. I, don't, I don't need it. We I had a lot of hours on that thing. Almost double the hour they got on this. Eventually I want to upgrade my tractor too and just keep this one on the farm, but give me another main tractor. Right. But when was my, the last time you got a new tractor? How many years was it? Um, the last time, th- this tractor I got right now, I got about three years ago. Three years ago. Yep, you're about due. And then the Maybe one the next you, month or so, we can get you one. Well, we'll see. It depends on, depends on how long it takes us to start making money. It's probably going to be a little while, so. We're good. We're good for the winter. I'm not worried. We gotta start making profit first. 
I'm already about three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in debt with the bank right now, so oh, wow. I just figured my goal is to get them paid off within two or three years. And what's nice is the bank gate made a cool deal with me, whereas long if I'm paying about uh twenty five thousand dollars uh, every uh three months they're good because that's about a hundred thousand dollars a year and basically the three hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan that i have i just got paid back about four hundred thousand i'll be good so as i'm underneath a four-year uh term with them and instead of paying a monthly payment i asked if i could do quarter payments and they said yeah you do up twenty five thousand dollars for every quarter payment so we just got to make sure we have enough to pay them um, coming up here in December. I have to pay 25000 to them. And then every three months, I just have to pay 25000 until it's paid off. Or I could do a quicker payoff once we're able to. What's your percentage on your uh, seed right now? 220 seeds per end. Okay, so I'm at about 33%. And my fertilizer is down to 50%. I'm at 45. 45% yeah. seeds. Fertilizer about 50. Yep, 46. Okay. It's almost time to get refilled. Give me a run back and go get the. If you want to, you can just uh, have your tractor pulled up over up. Uh, in that alleyway there and you can run down to a farm and get the truck real quick okay there should be enough seed on that trailer for this field but i'm starting to question if there is Hey, I didn't want to run into that past that 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 lady. <laughs> yeah. You almost made me run into the lady. I was taking a drink and I didn't even see you stopped. <laughs> Alright, here we are. We're gonna plant this field with wheat here and then after that I think we're pretty much good for today. I'm gonna check and I think we're gonna have to spread a little bit of lime and, and fertilizer, but I'm paying, I think we're good on fertilizer though. But we'll definitely probably have to spread some lime, but I'll check that out once we're done.
laid down back. It looks like the field looks good now. So it looks like we uh, successfully got both fields planted, and we did that in a matter of an hour. So I think we're on. We're doing fantastic today. Yep. Um. Ah. Oh, we got a little wreck there. I seen it. Oh, it got to hit me. Oh no. <laughs> Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll go back to the farm. We'll get the uh, cedars cleaned off and get the tractors cleaned off. Empty them out so that way they are uh, ready for the next time. You don't need to leave the cedars full. We can empty them. Yep. So when we get up here, Empty them out real quick. Go ahead and empty yours out. And then I'm going to take and reload it back into mine. That means, yeah, I'm both it's sweet. And you know where the power washer thing is now, right? down here at the bottom. Hey, I found a pallet up on the roof. Oh my gosh, I see it. Just bring these tractors over here and we'll get them washed off really quick. They're dirty. You see, I got a weight on the front of your tractor. I had to put a weight on the front of your tractor so you can haul the planter because that planter is a little heavy for that tractor, and that tractor is bigger than my tractor. Oh. So uh, we have to. You have to make sure you put that weight on when you use the actual planter, which is that one that's in the barn right now, the garage. These are actually really dirty. It's taking me a little bit to clean it. I'm trying to actually get it all off. There you go. I used to be able to do it. Well, I guess now I'm going to take care of this cedar here. And get ready for... Yeah, take and put all the seed away. And I'm going to have... Uh, Woodley go and spread lime on the field really quick once she gets a trap to take care of or not tractor but cedar. See, another pallet's right here. <laughs> Why don't you uh hook up to that line spreader right there? That big line spreader that I have sitting here. Yep, that right there. And then we need to get the, both of those fields spread with lime. I don't know. Do I have okay. any lime inside there? No. No? All right. Well, I'll have to have you run to the store and pick up some lime real quick then. Okay. I ain't got no lime. I got to invest in getting some lime stocked. I just ordered seven pallets of lime, so hopefully it'll all fit in okay. there. I think that's 14,000 meters. So hopefully it'll all fit. If it doesn't all fit, just let me know. Uh, I got 95%, 97, 98, 99% full. So it must be, a, did you get, were you able to get them all? Yep. Awesome. I took it all and I'm at 99%. Awesome. Heading back to the farm now. Sounds good, Woodley. Well, head to the fields anyways. Spread out in the fields. Yeah. Both to the fields that we planted. I'm just trying to clean up these pallets around the farm. 
And then I'm gonna go get that truck and unload the truck too. Well, I mean what I wanted to do, but at least I got that pallet picked up off the floor. I got that pallet picked up. Now let's try to see if I can get this pallet off the roof. I don't know how it got on the roof. Apparently we had a windstorm or something, but I threw the pallet up on the roof, so I need to get that down. Hopefully this man shoot can reach it. It should be able to. I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach it. So, it's, I know it's been a few hours, but um, he finished spreading lime out on field four and field four and 16. And now he had to go get some supper because it's running a little late. And I got the rest of the lime and I brought it back to the farm and I put it inside of here after we filled up his lime thing. The only other thing that we have left that I want to get done today is to take an trailer away. By the way, as you've seen in the last video, in the last little bit, I was struggling getting that seat off the roof. I finally figured out how to get it off after all the battles and now I can take care of the equipment that we have out from doing all the craziness. I want to get that grass area plowed so that's what I'm going to work on now. Because it looks like there's supposed to be rain coming and I want to get this done before October. So we're going to head right over here and plow this little bit of area so we can get it planted with some fresh grass. I don't want to get too close to the edge there. Let's see what we can do here. Try to get a little bit close but not too close. I don't want to get into the road. I don't want to hit trees. I think I did that almost perfect. Can't ask for much better than that see how well I can do this area here because it's going to be a little tight I don't want to get near that fence too much apparently it's a little bouncy right there I'll get that fixed here in a minute. And just so you guys know that when we move over to October, we will be taking and harvesting my soybeans. And we'll be getting ready to hopefully be able to sell some things this winter to get some of our money back that we are currently a little behind on. Obviously, I mean, it shows that we have money in the account, but... As I made a comment earlier, I am borrowing $350,000 altogether, so I am currently $350,000 in debt, but I will be getting that back, I'm hoping, very quickly, even though I have to pay $25,000 every three months, so I only have until December to get at least an extra $25,000 in my account to put towards that. And obviously, I, I bought all that lime. We might not have needed all of it, 
but at least we have the line we need. I'm trying to get a little bit of stock on the fields and farm and stuff like that, trying to make it so that way we can get the most efficient out of our crops. I don't want to have it where we're struggling whatsoever. And like I said, I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to fix that a little tiny bit the best I can. Hopefully it'll let me plow one way or another. I think it's off because it's on a hill. There we go. That was a lot better. I like that. That worked. See? Not too shabby. Just a nice short little plowing. And now I gotta get it planted really quick. And at least get grass started. When Woodley is able to come back, I'm guessing he'll be back in October. We'll be able to spread lime on there and get to doing our soybeans. Right there. I'm going to shut that off right there. And I'm going to go ahead and get into his tractor to do this. Because he's a little more horsepower and he has a lot less hours. I can leave that right there for right now. It's not really in my way. I'll take care of it some other time. We're going to have to have it tomorrow anyways to do soybeans. This one's full of seed, which I got to change that over to grass. I just need to get fertilizer, which hopefully I can get it off that bag on the ground. Get some planting. I'll be back with you in a moment. getting this last little bit of grass planted and as you can see it is 1804 which is also known as 604 p.m. or supper time so I'm gonna wrap up uh, planting this little bit here then go take care of the tractor and the next time I see you it will probably be October. So, 
I'm going to wrap it up right here. Go take care of this. And go take it and um, go spend time with my family for a little bit. Before September is over with. And we have rain coming tonight. So I made sure everything's taken care of. That doesn't need to be out in the rain. But for the most part, everything is all good. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.